the beginning of this tour, we, we were playing the whole record, Among the Living, and back in 1980, whatever it came out, we were like 17 years old. <laughs> and we th- we're 29. We thought, we thought crazy back then, so now when it came time to play the whole record, it became a little bit of a challenge to relearn the songs and like kind of go back into that mindset. It's the end of the tour, now we're like yeah, and we're steamrolling. And feeling good like, with the song. Now that we got know? it down, oh, yeah. it's over. Not that we so didn't do it hell? well in the beginning, no. it's just you get real comfortable with the yeah. songs and life and a live setting, you know? And we're really good. Yeah. <laughs> Every time we record a record, we do yeah. B-sides. Yeah, we, we always just to have fun, stuff. really. But actually, what, the way it happened was they wanted to re-release Worship Music again with a bonus disc, and that's how the idea came up. And then we decided to shoot that idea down of releasing a bonus disc with Worship Music because why make our fans buy it again? So it just became an EP. We joshed around about Journey. We, I didn't know if anybody even buy into it. but yeah, like, yeah okay, I learned that. <clears> uh, we all wanted to do a Rush song right. forever also. Yeah, so Rush. Cheap was, Trick, you had already trick, finished. Yeah, it's just the fans, uh, the are, bands that made us what we are, I think, that really well, yeah. rounded us out. So it's like a tribute to them, and we had fun with it. It's still a blast, man. You look at us, and it's like, why would they do a Journey or a Boston <laughs> song? You know, that's classic rock it's stuff we listen to, too, on occasion. You know, you listen. We, there's so many songs that we all love, and... But you make it your own. Yeah, you make just, it your own. And, that's exactly and the I reason to do it. That's what people got out of it. That's the best part because the one that I thought they would they wouldn't dig the most was the journey one. But I get different you know vibes from that, that, so it's really cool. We we got thumbs up from every band. Yeah, every band. That's really really nice. We heard from everybody, which is cool. I mean, technology has has really come a long way. So something that would have taken three hours in 1990 takes three minutes nowadays they got gps now internet cell phones it's just a, it's just it's stuff. just it's a better great, way you know, that, those are the you know big, for big it, the great thing about touring now with, with skype and stuff if you have a family it's really nice to skype them at home years ago you couldn't do that so that makes it a lot easier with technology most important thing about about us and our last record, Worship Music, is while other bands keep putting out new music, I find that there is a real lack of substance on, on a lot of these records. Like, I just feel like they just make a record just to go out and tour. But with us, that wasn't even the factor here. I can't do that. We made a record that was, look, I could say it now. I mean, our record is great. We were up for a Grammy, that was a great thing. You know, we did, we played Yankee Stadium. All that big four stuff. All that big four doing. stuff, I mean, really put us back on the map well, and, and I'm really happy that we were smart enough to yeah. really work on our record. We didn't put 10 songs out that three of them are great and the other seven are just kind of filler. We worked on every one of those songs to make it special. You can get written off pretty easily nowadays and after uh, we hadn't come out with something in uh, what, eight years and um, it, was, it was a lot of work but you know what it all came to fruition it was, it was pretty amazing. We're really happy with what happened.